We've all been in places in our lives where we'd like to just quit. Well, my friends, we have to continue to keep growing. Growing is vital in order to avoid the risk of failing to keep surging forward. Join me today as I talk about number five of the six basic human needs on the Surging Forward Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the Surging Forward Broadcast, where we're helping you to have a positive view and a negative world. My name is David Valentine, and I'm here to help you see the value in the job you do and how you can keep surging forward. Well, well, hello again, and welcome to the Surging Forward Podcast. This is Dave Ballantyne again, and I want to welcome you to joining me on the show here. And I've got another great episode. Is In a few minutes, we're going to be continuing with our talk on the six human needs. So you don't want to miss this episode. I'm on number five, and we're going to be talking about growth. You know, I hear a lot of times where people just want to give up and quit. They're just done. Well, I'm going to be sharing some cool things here to try to give you that little bit of encouragement to help you to keep surging forward, because that's what this show is about, my friends. And uh, those of you who follow my Facebook page, you see that I was actually away for a little bit of R&R, and uh, I went also to a conference to help me to continue grow. Um, I had the privilege of going to the southern section of the International Association of Electrical Inspectors, and it was down in Orlando, Florida. So I went down there to get myself educated on the code and also meet a lot of great people from across the United States who are, you know, really involved in the code and, you know, involved in keeping others safe and doing a lot of great things. And, you know, it's it's amazing when you go down and, you know, I, I teach school, I'm an instructor and a lot of great things. I enjoy serving others, you know, so a lot of times I'm like a big fish in a little pond, but. When I go down there, it's really kind of neat for me because I'm just a little fish in a great big ocean. And, and it's really neat because I can learn some things and get some other insights. And and it really kind of coincides with this episode because that's what I need a lot of times to help me grow and to continue to keep surging forward. But it was a great time down in Orlando, Florida, and my daughter was actually able to join me and my wife. Uh, we had a great time. And... uh I tell you, that is a place that is just really, they really do a great job with the magical and trying to keep things, um, really just on the high end. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm just always amazed at the technological wonders that they do down there with things. I guess with me being electrical and being mechanically inclined, it just always intrigues me. I think I have more fun messing with the technology than I do anything else. And, uh, those of you that did see my Facebook page, you'll see where I posted a place of all things. Someone like me, we were riding the Winnie the Pooh ride. Yeah, I, I yeah, I wrote it. And you know what? My daughter is like 26, 28 years old. So uh, she was up there with me riding it. So it wasn't like she was a little kid or anything. So we're riding it and a thing breaks down. But you know what? I took it in stride because, again, that's something that helped me grow because, hey, I was able to walk behind the scenes and see how the thing worked. So it was pretty fascinating, kind of funny, a uh, little humbling. I actually posted that on my Facebook page, and a lot of people got a pretty good laugh at it because uh, they usually don't see this rough and tough, uh, gruffy little guy riding the Winnie the Pooh ride. But, uh, hey, we had a blast, and it was fun. You kind of feel like a kid again. But uh, getting back, getting started back into the whole new things here, and uh, wanted to get this podcast out and recorded and get back into the swing of things. So, uh also, I want to say thanks for, we are almost, matter of fact, probably at the recording of this podcast, we're going to hit the 5,000 downloads. Wow, that, you know, that is fascinating. I want to thank you for allowing me to be able to be a part 
of maybe your success in some way or another. I enjoy hearing the stories. I, I really do. Um, thanks for sharing. For those of you that have sent me emails and, and responded, just a little bit. You know, I love hearing your success stories because that's really what helps me keep going. I, I, I think it's fabulous. Uh, also, I want to say, you know, if you need anything, just feel free to contact me. I'm more than happy to help you out. I'm in the process of actually coaching a couple individuals right now and working with them. So, uh, like I say, get a hold of me. Let me know, uh, what I can do to help you out. Uh, right now it's, you know, kind of doing it to help some out, but eventually, hopefully maybe I can do it full time. Who knows? But thank you very much again for your response. And, uh, hopefully you're getting a little bit out of this podcast and feel free to share it with somebody. You know, that's one of the things I'm going to be talking about today. And as far as growth, you know, and how you can keep growing but how you can also help other people grow. Also, don't forget to check out the website if you're looking for any kind of online courses to help you. If you're looking at starting your own business in the contracting world, whether it's electrical, HVAC, and we also do the courses nationwide now. So check us out at uh, surgingforward.com. Pretty simple as we look at that. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about number five, of the six basic human needs. Now, as a quick review, I just want to go back and talk about someone we've already talked about. I've talked about, you're going to have to forgive me a little bit today as I'm talking along here. I don't know if I came down with a coat, a cold or, or what it is while I was, when I got back up here to Virginia area. And I don't know what it is. My nose is just stuffed up and I don't know. Hopefully I can make it through this podcast. So you're going to have to kind of forgive me a little bit on that. But, uh, I want to kind of do a quick review here. And the first one we talked about, as far as one of the comfort human needs, is we all need to want to have that certainty and comfort. We all want to have that little bit of security. And so, and, you know, episode number, what is this? This is episode number 65. So, and episode number 61, we talked about that certainty and comfort, how you can attain that. And number two, we talked about variety. You know, we want to have a variety in our lives. And you want to make sure that you're doing things different. That was in episode number 62. And changing it up a bit. That's kind of like what I did when I went down to my conference. It gives me that little bit of vitality of renewing things. So I'm not just stuck in my little box and seeing what's around me all the time. You have to kind of get out a little bit and have a little bit of variety in your life. That is very important. Significance. You know, we all want to have that feeling of importance. I talked about that in episode 63. And, you know, how do we get that? Deep down, we want to be important. Now, a lot of people try to make themselves important by tearing others down. And that, my friends, all that does is kind of make you look silly, to be truthful, because nobody really respects people who are just constantly tearing someone down. Let's face it. So what is it that makes you feel important? What is it that you have? All of us have knowledge. They can help someone else out. There are so many things that each one out there that's listening to this podcast knows that I don't know. There's a lot of things that you are involved in, you know about, even when it comes down to electrical. Hey, face it. My friends, I've been doing this for over 35 years now. I really had to up the game because uh, I'm looking at my age and I went, wow, I can't say 20 years anymore. Um, It's amazing. You You know, when you start to trade it and you're, you know, twenties and you realize you're 56 years old now. It's like, wow, what's going on here? So, but you know, we all have, you know, there's always things we can learn. So here I go down and I learn things from my apprentices. Um, I haven't installed a whole lot of led lights, so I'm still constantly learning. So significance, feeling of importance, everybody has something they can share with somebody to help them. And when you help somebody else succeed, That's how you get the feeling of importance. The other one I talked to in last week's episode, number 64, was that love connection. You know, that need to be loved. You know, we all need that. And I'm not talking just always that sexual love. Sometimes we look for it in that, but that's not what it's always about. You know, it's that feeling of being needed and and wanting to be. And we look for those many times in the wrong places too, and we end up getting hurt. And so therefore we build walls in our lives. 
So again, episode 64, we talked about that and how you can use that to try to help you to continue to keep surfing forward there. Well, in this one here, we're going to be talking about growth. What does it mean to grow? You know, I hear a lot of people, and even if I, you know, look in the biblically, a lot of times it says to be content with where you're at. Well, my friends, being content with where you're at doesn't mean that you just stay stagnant where you're at. You know, continuing to improve yourself also doesn't mean you have to be better than everybody else. Continuing to grow is very important. You see, a lot of people who say they don't want to grow or that they're totally happy where they're at, most of the time they're saying that because they're fearful of taking the next steps. And when I say fearful of taking the next steps, because a lot of us don't know what's beyond the wall. We've built these little walls around our lives and we're comfortable. Well, my friends, uh, is I listen to quite a few podcasts, as I know, as you know, uh, as I know. Uh, <laughs> my, you could tell I'm not into things lately and my nose is still stuffing up here. But so again, apologize. But as you know, I listen to a lot of different podcasts. Now, you have to ask myself, why do I listen to a lot of different podcasts? There are tons of podcasts out there, and I'm not saying, I'm not bashing any of them out there. There's a lot of great ones out there, but some of them just aren't helping you grow that much. Now, I happen to listen to a lot of different motivational podcasts, and I can remember listening to uh, Dan Miller talking on 48 Days to the Work You Love. He makes a comment a lot of times, if you're totally happy and things are just sitting where you're at, you're not growing and you're not going anywhere. And so when you're doing that, there's no room for improvement. And then you're going to watch the world pass you by. And all you're going to do is look back and say, wow, I wished I could have done that. I should have done that. I don't know why I didn't do that. You always need to be looking for a way to improve yourself. Now, I happen to like the idea of listening to podcasts because I... I've shown many of people, and it's amazing. I always uh, thought I was the only one that didn't know what a podcast was. And I spent a lot of time, even while I was down there in Florida, sharing uh, to others what a podcast was. And I'm amazed at how many 20, 30-year-olds and 40-year-olds don't know what a podcast is. They never heard of it. And when I showed it to them, it's like, wow, I can listen to this on my phone on the way to work. And, and the great thing about it, it's almost like it's almost like TiVo for radio. I mean, you can, you can rewind stuff. You can listen to it again. And, you know, we're on the go so much. And when you listen to stuff on a radio, it's like you heard something and I can't listen to it again. I, I have to try to remember it. Well, I've got certain podcasts that are tagged to my phone that I just sit there and listen to over and over and over again. Uh, like the Zig Ziglar podcast. There's a couple episodes of those that I just keep listening to over and over. And believe it or not, I've listened to a couple surging forward podcasts, uh, myself. I, I, I'm kind of, it's funny. I sound different when I'm listening to it myself and I'm like, wow, I, where did I get that information from? So I even learn a little bit from myself before sometimes and teaches me to practice what I preach. So it, it, that's kind of, kind of weird. Maybe I don't know, but, uh, it's part of growing as we listen and constantly keep that positive message in our ears. That's, what's going to help you grow. So Break yourself out of that fear of doing things by listening and open up your world to things that are worldwide. You see, you know, I live up here in the Hampton Roads area up in uh, Virginia, and, you know, it's not a big area, but it's not a small area either. But I don't care if you live in Chicago or if you're in New York or L.A. or, or some other kind of big city, Orlando, Florida, Oklahoma City, Houston, Texas, uh, Dallas, Texas, whatever the case may be. You're in that small little area, and that's all you happen to see. You see, there's a wide world out there, and it's amazing. And I see it by the emails that I get. And believe it or not, as much as we like to say we're different, we're all very much the same. And that's where I got this idea for these six human needs. We all have this desire to grow, but many times we don't know how to grow. The biggest thing is we really don't know who to trust. Now, trust is a big factor when you're dealing with, you know, whether you should step out in faith to do something because none of us want to get hurt. Because again, it goes back to that love connection. You know, we've been burned. 
you know, somebody we really cared about that we loved ended up hurting us really bad. So we have that fear of stepping out again. Well, my friends, I was hurt very bad also. And if it wasn't for me making the choice to continue to grow, then I would be very stagnant in my life today. So it's one of those things that, you know, if you're not growing, you're going to become like standing water. You know, standing water, if it just stands there for the longest time, what happens? It becomes stagnant. It may start to smell. So it's getting a lot of mosquito larvae in there if it stays there for a long time. And all it does is breed bad stuff. So this is what can happen to you if you don't grow for a long period of time. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't have any restful periods. My goodness, we should definitely have some times where you're restful and you're just kind of taking that time for some R&R and some rest. You know, when you're constantly growing, you're not taking the time to, as we say, smell the roses. So there is a balance there. But you do need to take some time to grow because what happens, you start becoming resentful to those that are around you. And when they start doing well and they start succeeding, you start crying foul. Or you start saying, wow, that's not fair. Even worse, you start becoming angry at somebody's success. Well, my friends, you should be happy when you see someone succeed. I see it all the time on Facebook. I see people that went out and got their electrical license. And no matter what state it's from, and they post that on Facebook. Wow, you can see the pride there. Wow, that is just so awesome. They're so proud of that. And most people will write in and say, congrats, great job. Because they know the work that was involved with that. Whether it's their HVAC license or their electrical license or their, you know, even their contractor's license. It took a lot of hard work. But what's amazing, I see a few people every so often who will just say, big deal. I've got five licenses. I've got this. I've got that. That is not a big deal. What, why do you think that's such a big deal? You know, I really feel bad for those people that post those kind of things. Because the thing is, their life has become stagnant. Because the, even though they, they worked hard to get to where they're at, they're stuck in a rut. And all they are is just, all they can do now is bash other people. And that's a shame, my friends. And we can all fall into that, you know, group as itself, even myself. If I got to the point where I would have let my business, losing my business back in 2007, if I would have gotten down to the bottom of the barrel there and said, I'm done, I'm not going to grow anymore, I would have been one of those that would have been continually bashing anyone else to become successful. I would have been one of those same ones that have been jealous of everyone else trying to do something great. But my friends, that is why growth is so important because it gets you out of that stagnant waters. Rivers become fresh when they start flowing down. They filter out all of the bad things that's going on in life. As you continue to grow, things are, things are going to happen. You know, life happens, my friends. We, we hear it all the time. Bad things are going to happen to you. You know, it's just a fact of life. The the rain falls on the just and the unjust. So bad things are going to happen. You got to face it. We're going to get beat down sometimes. But when you continue to improve yourself and grow, it's like a filter in your life. When you're constantly listening to positive podcasts, whether you're listening to the Zig Ziglar show, uh, Awaken the Leader, uh, great friend Dave Rubikava. I mean, he's growing so great. I can see some of the stuff in his life that's going on. You know, my friends, you know, listen to his podcast as he shares his life out there. You know, some of the things you might go through, you might say, wow, he's got it a lot harder than I got. So maybe I can push forward. I mean, when I went through my losing everything I had with my business, my friends, I lost my retirement. I lost everything. I almost lost my whole family. But I told myself, I said, and I had some friends encouraging me. It wasn't just by myself. Trust me. And that's why I'm here as a message to anyone that wants to listen. You can continue to keep surging forward. That's why I do this podcast. That's why I do this is to make a difference in somebody's life because I know what it's like to be down at the bottom. 
And so once you start clawing your way back out and you continue to grow, it filters out all of that negative and bad stuff that's going on out there. And then all of a sudden, you start becoming that river again. Your life starts having value again. And, you know, you're at that low paying job. Well, guess what? You start growing and you start having a desire to get to that high paying job. You become financially independent to where, hey, I can go into business for myself. You're not ignorant of those around you. You're happy for other people's success. Matter of fact, you're happy when people succeed better than you. I find it so great when I see some of my apprentices in school going on to run their own businesses and and to become project managers. That is so exciting. It, It is so great. You know, I got a friend of mine who just started teaching not too long ago, and he just graduated his first class last year. And I told him, I said, Mike, wait until five or 10 years from now. But those guys that you made a difference in start running their own businesses and start becoming project managers. My friends, that's where it's at. And sometimes it takes time. So while you're growing and you're helping other people grow, you can continue to keep surging forward. Because continuing to grow is vital to avoid the risk of failing to keep surging forward. You know, I, I thought about that and as I was thinking about this message, I was like, wow, if you don't continue to grow, you can't keep moving forward. There's no way to do it. So how are you going to help someone else surge forward? Maybe do like I did down in uh, Orlando. Introduce them to a podcast. Show them how to listen to a podcast. You know, I I, I find it amazing. You know, it took me a little over a year to get 5,000 downloads. And I'm excited about that. That is so neat. But I think if everyone that's listening right now showed one person how to listen to a podcast, and I've already given you four podcasts right now that they can listen to. They come out weekly, every time. You can listen to the Surging Forward podcast. You can listen to Awake on the Leader. You can listen to the Zig Ziglar podcast. You can also listen to 48 Days to the Work You Love podcast. Four great podcasts right there that they could just tune into very simple, very fast, and just listen to on the way to work. You know, hey, if you don't want to get rid of all your music every time, just listen to one a day on the way to work. You get a new episode every day. So just listen to them in the morning. You know, you got four of them. Then find another one that you like and listen on the way in the morning. And then on the way home from work, listen to your music. And do something to help yourself keep growing. Well, my friends, that's all I have for today. And, you know, I love to again hear your comments. As usual, feel free to email me at dave at surgingforward.com and check out the website, uh, www.surgingforward.com. Check me out on Facebook. I'm there. My Facebook group is growing. I I think it's up to about, last I looked, I think it's up to 300 uh, likes already. So that's 300 fans that are checking out the Surging Forward site nationwide, worldwide. Uh, I know uh, Electrician Success Academy, I know they're out there and uh, they're doing a lot of cool things for for people and, and they're overseas there. And so great group out there and hoping to get him on the show. We'll be interviewing soon. But uh, so there's a lot of things out there that you can listen to. And again, he's got another great podcast that's out there. You can probably find him out there on iTunes also. But check out something to help you to keep growing. There's HVAC podcasts out there. There's podcasts out there for contractors. There's stuff out there for everyone to listen to, to get a positive message, to continue to help you to keep surging forward. So again, my friends, I'm going to sign off right now. And until next week, stay safe and keep surging forward. Keep those emails coming in and Have a great week. God bless, my friends. Bye-bye.